Okay, this video is to show you how to set up your computer um, with the scikit fuzzy Python module, which will allow you to run both the Brat toolbox and the RCAT toolbox. So the first thing that you need to do is um, check that your computer has the Python pip module, which makes it really easy to install and uninstall other packages. So um, after you've installed ArcMap, if you go to your C drive, then Python 2.7, ArcGIS, and then scripts. There should be a file here, an executable file called pip. And I believe that this comes automatically with Arc 10.4, but with earlier versions, I don't think it does. So if you don't have it, I'll show you how to get it if you're running an earlier version of Arc. So what you will do is, um, online at this website here um, there's a file called get pip .py. so you just will save this link as and then um, to keep everything in order I would navigate back to that same place so Python 2.7 ArcGIS scripts and then save this get pip .py into that location. So now to run that script you're going to open a command prompt. You can just type CMD in your Windows search bar and it'll bring it up. And then we have to navigate to where that file was. So to do this, to go back a directory, you just type CD dot dot. Let's do that again. So now I'm in my C drive, and now to get to a directory, I just type CD and then type in the path. So that path was Python 2.7 backslash arc GIS 10.4 backslash scripts. So now from here, I can uh, type in get pip dot pi, and when I hit enter, um, it will install that pip Python module, and that, that pip script will be put in that location. Um, since I already have it, I'm not going to do that. Um, once you have that installed, then you can use pip to install and uninstall packages. And the first thing that you should probably do is it usually doesn't install the latest version of pip, um, so you can update it. So if you navigate back to this same location here where your scripts are, and you just type pip install, and then you can go type in two dashes, upgrade pip again hit enter and it looks like it's updating my pip okay and you may get this um, access is denied so what you do in that case is um, when you are going to run that CM the command prompt. If you right click on it, you can run as administrator and that will allow you to to run those those commands. So I'm going to go back to that same place. spelled install okay so now it's telling me it's up to date so we're good to go um, so first the there's a prerequisite to getting the scikit fuzzy module and that is that you have to have the numpy plus mkl module now arc comes with numpy but it does not come with the numpy plus mkl so what I would first do is type in pip uninstall numpy you hit enter and it will uninstall the numpy that is already on your machine so then what we need to do is get numpy plus mkl so for that I would go to this website here and I'll post links to these websites um, but this is a good collection of Python packages and then um, even has right 
right here at the top, many binaries depend on NumPy plus MKL. So if I just click on that, it'll take me down, and it gives me a list of options of files to download. So uh, with ArcGIS, it's pretty much always, you get Python 2.7, and it's the 32-bit version. So um, this NumPy plus MKL, you can see here, this is Python 2.7, and it's the 32-bit version. So I'm going to download this. It's called a wheel file .whl. Just click on that to download it. and that'll save this this wheel file into my downloads folder okay so it's saved so now if I go to my downloads what you can do is if you hold shift and right click you can say open command window here so I'm in my downloads folder and what I'm going to do is type the full path to where the pip script is again. So that's C, Python 2.7, Arc, GIS 10.4, scripts. And then I'm going to go pip install. And that wheel file uh, right here, you can see. So it starts with NumPy. So if I just start to type in here, because I'm already in the downloads directory, so if I just start to type NumPy and hit tab, then it'll find that. And if I hit enter, it will download the NumPy plus MKL module. And like I said, I already have that, so I'm not going to do that. But um, after that's downloaded, then you should be able to download the scikit fuzzy module. So again in a command window just navigate to the pip script and then you'll just use the pip install command and you type in scikit dash fuzzy and it's already on my computer so it doesn't need to download but that is how you get the scikit fuzzy python module and once you have that uh, what you should be able to do is open up the toolbox in ArcGIS and there will not be a red X through it. If something went wrong and the module didn't install then there will be a red X meaning you can't use the toolbox but if it's there and you can open it then you should be good to go.